empty nest and I wasn't 48-year-old Kimberly Pullman grew up in Hamilton. She was living in British Columbia in 2015 when she took off to Syria to be with the ISIS militant she married online. I shouldn't be here at all. I should be going home and not even being here. I mean, I never even had a parking ticket back in my own country before. Why am I denied my children? Why am I denied those things when I never harmed anybody? The documentary Return, Life After ISIS, follows ex-ISIS brides like Pullman who are prisoners at a Syrian camp. Women who say they regret the decisions they made and want to be repatriated. The filmmaker says she went in with preconceived notions but changed her mind. When I discovered the personal stories of each of these women, I, I, I was able to understand from where, from where these decisions were coming from. In the documentary, Pullman says she didn't know what she was getting herself into, adding that she was vulnerable in 2015. Her three adult children had moved out and suddenly she was a single empty nester searching for purpose. He was a very vibrant personality, not what you would ever have expected for the persona of, of a terrorist. He said, come where you're actually loved, where you're actually needed, because he knew that I felt like I was really not needed at the time at all. When she arrived, she burned her Canadian passport, but it wasn't long after that she tried to escape to come back to Canada. Hamilton immigration lawyer John Abrams says it's Pullman's right as a Canadian citizen to be able to return, but even if she does, that doesn't mean she won't face charges here. Until they don't have a trial, they are also innocent. In a statement to CHCH News, Global Affairs Canada says the government is aware that Canadians are being detained in northern Syria, but say given the security situation on the ground, the government of Canada's ability to provide consular assistance in Syria is extremely limited. Kelly Batello, CHCH News.